How's it? You need CowboyDocSports.com for on Monday, January 22nd, as we get this video to you every day around this time. Have your free play winner in just a second here. Been under the weather, but have your free play winner in just a second here between the Spurs and the Sixers. Also talked about Wake Forest, North Carolina, Cincinnati, Kansas, Memphis, Toronto, Cleveland, Orlando, and Texas Southern and Jackson State. Hello, I am Indian Cowboys. This is Doc Sports. The algorithms of Indian Cowboys have been around for 19 years, and Doc Sports has been around for 53 years. I have a doctor and a master's in biostatistics. That's how these algorithms work. Welcome to my podcast. I'll try to get this video to you a little tomorrow. I'll try to have some better voice tomorrow, too. And uh, our best selections, <coughs> of course, are over at uh, over at Doc Sports under Rune Shiva. Our next best are our YouTube Premium channel, where uh, we will start that back up tonight. I'm going to go YouTube Premium tonight, Tuesday, uh, tonight, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and Thursday. And then we're going to do it once a week going forward. On YouTube Premium, the one tonight, Tuesday, and Wednesday will be around 20 minutes. The one on Thursday will be about an hour where you, we just get to hang out. Nothing changes on YouTube Premium. I just do it once a week, and I'm going to get you all set for the week. And it'll be for 20 minutes, and it's $20 a month. And it's four shows a week, uh, $5. Uh, or sorry, four shows a month uh, for 20 bucks, which is pretty awesome. And we'll talk about tons and tons of every – we'll basically talk about every game for about 45 minutes plus. So – now, if you want more content, be sure to check our Twitter. It has our consensus reports and our trends on late night ballgames. What do I need to tell you today? Well, we have a seven-unit college basketball selection today, which goes off at seven or uh, nine o'clock rather. Uh, the NBA one goes off at seven. Great seven-unit uh, NFL winner on the Bucks over. Fantastic eight and two in top plays. NFL and college basketball combined are fifteen and eight plus four thousand. So let it be football, college basketball, NBA, NHL, soccer, golf, and MMA. MMA, by the way, is three and zero last night plus fourteen hundred and five and zero for plus twenty four hundred. And soccer is on an incredible seven and zero run. So go figure. So all of that is pretty amazing. Hope you join us for everything. And let me get to your free play winner today. And it is on the San Antonio Spurs today. I like the Spurs. I think they can hang tough. I think this is their Super Bowl, and they will get up to face the Sixers. That's pretty much it. Keep in mind, you can find the Spurs around plus 14. And I know it started at 13.5 and, and went up to 14. Look, I know the Spurs have only won eight games coming in. I get it. The Sixers won by 12 last time. These two teams met back in February 3rd. This is a revenge opportunity for the Spurs. I think they can hang tough. That Can they hang tough? That is the question. Uh, the Spurs beat Washington by four points, only lost to Chicago by six, and they were playing pretty well. The Phillies won four in a row coming, uh, five in a row coming in. They're playing well, including beating Denver and Houston. I think the Spurs, uh, this is their Super Bowl, and I think they can hang tough. I just don't see the Sixers getting up uh, for the Spurs here. Wake Forest in North Carolina. I'm going to lean on Wake Forest here. I know you got to imagine you have Wake Forest who won by seven points last time. So UNC is the team with the revenge. So do they get it? But Wake has lost two straight road games, and I think they show up here. And why is the number four team in the land only an eight and a half point favorite over their rival at home when they have revenge? I'm taking Wake Forest plus the points because Wake has lost the last two road games, and I think they show up against the number four team in the country. Cincinnati, Kansas. I like Cincinnati here. I know Kansas is off a loss, which makes me nervous. It's always hard to go against Kansas when they come off a loss. There is no doubt about that. These two teams have never met, mind you. Cincinnati is 13-5, and lost to Oklahoma by four points. Beat TCU, lost to Baylor and Texas. Both tight games. Beat BYU by 11 points on the road. Nearly beat Xavier. Kansas lost to West Virginia by six points. Lost to UCF by five points. Kansas, at the end of the day, only, only has two upperclassmen. I think that makes the difference. I like Cincinnati to hang tough. Memphis, Toronto. I like Memphis here. Um... Both actually have identical records of 15 and 27 and 16 and 27. Toronto just beat this team by five points last time. Memphis lost to the Bulls 96 to 125 last time. Lost to Minnesota 103 to 118 last time. They had done quite well coming in. They really lose three in a row. This team has beaten Dallas, Phoenix, and the Lakers at one point. Honestly, I think they hang tough here. I'm going to lean on Memphis here. Cleveland, Orlando. Um, look, I know Cleveland has revenge here, but Orlando beat this team by 10 points last time. The odd thing is that Orlando won the last contest, um, and Cleveland has won seven in a row. Um, but... You know, they're only a two-point favorite, which is surprising. But I think Orlando did beat Miami and Orlando, mind you. And I'm going to take the public fade here. And I think Orlando actually plays quite well here at home, even though Cleveland has revenge. I'm going to lean on Orlando. Finally, Texas Southern. Jackson State. I like Texas Southern here. I know Jackson State could be the better team, but I like the points. 5-11 and 11 and 17 teams hooking up here. Um, decent public fade. Jackson State's won the last uh, two points last time. Revenge for Southern. Southern has played... Um, Purdue, Creighton, and Virginia this year, so they've yeah, faced pretty stout competition so far. They do have a top 150 defense. Johnny Jones is not a terrible coach. Mo Williams has a good crew and comes off a loss or Prairie View. But I'm going to back Southern here because they do have a top 130 defense, and I think the points are a premium here. Lean on Texas Southern. That's what I have for you in today's video. Hope you guys are doing well. I'll try to feel better, and I'll also try to get this video a little bit sooner to you. Same unit college basketball today at 9 o'clock. Same unit NBA today. And, of course, you get to hang out with me on the live show tonight as well. And I'll see you back here tonight. Uh, the live show tonight is probably going to be 11 Eastern. It's going to be late tonight. Hope you guys do well. Please stay warm, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.